Hello guys, another speaker review and this one will be shaky because the speakers do not fit in my view when using Tweepot. Okay, so let's talk about Wordales 12.3. I got them some time ago because you may say that I'm a fan. Uh, I'm a fan since uh, Diamond uh, 220, uh, then I had uh, later on Diamonds uh, 11.1.2 and Center and now I have uh, Diamonds 12.3 and uh, downstairs and uh, now we will be reviewing Diamond 12.4 so this is the biggest uh, bookshelf speaker in the series okay so the first thing build quality and functionality speaker grill is magnetic and yes, we love magnetic speaker grills. They are very nice. Speaker terminals. We hate those. Uh, for unknown reason, probably they've ordered a lot and now they have to sell all of them. Uh, Worfdale is using that kind of uh, speaker terminals since uh, 220. I hate them because it's very hard to connect some of the speaker wires that I have back home. Some people, I've read, like them, because for some setups apparently they are fine. But not for me, I've never liked them and I won't like them in future. Uh, okay, so we have uh, speaker jumpers here. Uh, they seem to be gold plated, but I still recommend uh, switching, uh, changing them to something better. Maybe short runs of the main speaker wire that you'll be using uh, with your speakers and the quality of the winner the winner here is really really great hey you probably can't see that with uh, my phone and uh, it's not sun out uh, outside right now but this winner uh, is uh, maybe not sparkling uh, but it catches the light and it's slightly reflecting uh, it back so it's looking very very good I really really like that winner okay the fronts are piano black uh, usually the piano black means uh, scratches uh, all around the speaker but uh, not in this case at least not uh, during my uh, half of a year with these speakers um, okay what's uh, what may be useful to you in the future uh, if you want to disassemble the speakers uh, you're starting up by getting this around decoration and you're trying to hook it up from the inside and to pull it towards you and uh, it'll pop out and then you have four or five sp uh, screws and uh, you can uh, remove the uh, speaker from the cabinet as for the treble driver it's slightly different uh, you should not be starting from the inside you should be starting from the outside you can put something flat like a ruler underneath here and slowly make your way around and this surrounding part of the treble driver will pop out and you can remove the driver and having both of them removed you can access the crossover the crossover uses quite nice parts uh, it uses uh, polypropylene film uh, capacitors i think uh, banning ones uh, so not the highest type not the best type but still quite nice especially for the price range of the speaker the speaker cabinets uh, have braces inside so they are passing the knocking test uh, with flying colors and that's uh, about the look and functionality now about the most important thing uh, in the speakers about the sound quality starting from the bottom uh, the bass the bass is surprisingly deep it's agile it's fast and it's hitting hard uh, i was uh, really i'm serious about that i i was really surprised how low these can go uh, in my uh, in my bedroom when uh, where i was using them they were standing about 20 or 50 centimeters from the back wall and they had something like 40 or 50 from the side walls 
and uh, so so yes they were quite close to the wall but still i had never ever felt the need to augment them uh, with uh, subwoofer of any type uh, so yes that's a plus and the meats are very recessed uh, so the meats are very detailed uh, though i think they are a bit tiny bit recessed uh, the highs are sparkly they are airy they are precise they are kind of cold uh, this is the first i think this is the first of the one of the diamonds that cannot be called a warm speaker uh, and i enjoy that i like 220s i like uh, 11.1s and 0.2s but yes they were warmer these are not that uh, warm and still they are very very nice speakers uh, and um, about the detail the stereo imaging uh, they, have, they have surprisingly uh, big amount of detail for the price i've heard uh, and i own the speakers that have uh, more detail i also heard and owned uh, in the past uh, speakers with uh, less detail uh, these uh, in in the uh, detail uh, area they are punching uh, way above the uh, price about the stereo imaging uh, I think, uh, at least uh, to my ears, these are the first of the diamonds that I have no complaints uh, for in the um, uh, imaging uh, area. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> the 220s uh, were not champs there, to put it mildly. Uh, they were more like uh, TV speakers, yes, uh, something that you'd like to have uh, besides your TV to augment the sound. 11.1 uh, and 11.2 are very nice speakers, but still imaging and precise instrument location was not the strongest part of the set. But these, these are really, really great. Uh, and the same can be said about 12.3 that I have downstairs, and maybe I'll do the review on them uh, sometime because they are quite heavy and i want uh, and i don't think uh, i liked i'd like to show you my bedroom because it's messy uh, anyway the stereo imaging is great you can pinpoint the location the instrument placings are not smeared across the um, across the scene yes they are nicely defined and uh, the scene is quite wide uh, when you connect the diamonds to the right good quality equipment uh, they can easily disappear when you're listening to your music uh, and it'll be very hard when you close your eyes when you close your eyes it'll be very hard to point them with your fingers uh, while listening to the music so they are very good and uh, they are also transparent yes so that's that's a very nice thing uh, and two more things uh, before i'll finish this review the first one is that they are scaling very nice uh, with the uh, equipment that you have i mean they're not the most expensive speakers you would usually pipe them with something like uh, audio lab uh, 6000a yes uh, but i've also connected them to my abrahamson uh, 2.0 app uh, that I have downstairs, I have connected them to the Sabash a 3 a that I have uh, in my dining room and I have also connected them to the set of these two power amps, Cambridge Audio 851W power amps and each time when I was connecting them to the better equipment I was discovering something new and better about them in the detail, in the holog holography of the scene, in the imaging areas. So uh, they are not the best uh, speakers in the world, but I really, really don't think you can go and you can get some something, anything better for the price, especially if you look for the used ones. I don't know uh, about the other countries, but uh, in these parts of Europe that I'm living in, uh, it's very hard to find used pair of uh, Diamond uh, Series 12 speakers. Uh, people don't sell them. 
yeah of course uh, yes we have inflation of course the equipment is quite expensive nowadays but still it's very hard to find used pair of the latest series and they've been on, on the market for the i don't know two or three years already so we should see plenty of them circling around as it is for older diamond series so my highest recommendation yes i owned and i own better speakers than these but for the price especially when you buy used the finish of the speakers the sound quality of this diamonds 12.4 is just amazing i think they'll stay with me till i die <laughs> yes or, or maybe till i find something better cheaper but not very likely okay so once again highest recommendation they are small ah maybe one more thing uh it'll be a kind of a spoiler uh comparing these to uh 12.3 yes these will be cheaper these will go almost as low as 12.3 because 12.3 are flu standards but they are 2.5 uh, way speakers so they have a separate uh, driver for the bus though the speaker size is smaller uh, the speaker is uh, dedicated uh, for bus and 12.3 will go a tiny tiny bit lower than 12.4 but uh, I like the tuning of 12.4 a little bit better. 12.3s are brighter, a tad bit brighter. These are, for to my use, these are just perfect. So, uh, and these are smaller and cheaper. So if I would be uh, forced to choose between 12.3 and 12.4, I would go with 12.4. And remember, because the name suggests that uh, bookshelf speaker should be placed on a bookshelf. Uh, not really. If you really want to squeeze uh, every last uh, ounce or inch of the sound quality from them, uh, give them a good speaker stance. Uh, the speaker sets, uh, speaker stand set plus speakers plus, uh, sorry, speaker stand set plus diamonds 12.4 will still be a bit. Uh, cheaper than 12.3s uh, but it will sound better and uh, I think it will be easier to position in most of the rooms in most of the flats that people are living in because uh, the speaker stand plus this uh, speaker will be still smaller than the 12.3 tower having said that 12.3 are still great speaker and yes I own them and uh, as I said in one of my other reviews I've always buy the equipment uh, with my own hard-earned money and uh, I, if I don't like something I sell it so the fact that I'm having both 12.4s and 12.3s downstairs uh, means something they're that good okay so highly recommended if you buy them enjoy them if you own them share your experiences and you may see another Wolfdales Yes, we have another world list there, and I like them also. Okay, enjoy the rest of the day, and goodbye. Bye.